tame me. You can't catch me on the run, cause I'm gone, yeah. I blaze trail, set fire to what's behind me. No, I'm never looking back, I'm on the run. I could only ever be what I'm made to be. Feels good when I'm living on the edge. Watch me now. Oh, like thunder, gonna shake the ground. Oh, hey guys, when did you get back? Where have you been? Yeah, well, we just got back last night. Yeah, we got back late last night from our world tour. Yeah, man, I am just totally wiped out. World tour? Wait, you guys had a world well, tour? you know, after Dominic at Modern Yellow made us our website, our fan base exploded. I mean... When you have a fan base, you take world tours. I mean, that's just what you do. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Whoa, whoa, take it easy on Keith. You know, Bruce Ooh. is his fan wow, guys. base. That is, <laughs> and vice versa. Uh, that is pretty <laughs> brutal. Jeez. Jeez. And to think, I was actually going to use you guys in another episode. Really? Us? Help? Oh, well, maybe. What's the episode about? Well, we're going back to the portal. Oh, here we go. Oh, you said it. Here we go is right. Yeah, right. We are not going back to the portal. Trust me on that. I really, really wish that you would find somebody else to do that. Whoa! What was uh, that? I don't know. Don't, don't worry that much. I wasn't actually thinking of sending you back well, into what the, the portal, not that the thought hadn't crossed my mind, but uh, no, I was actually thinking that we would uh, review a brand new Facebook portal device called the, the Portal Mini. That's what I was thinking. You know, you really need to work on your communication. I mean, I didn't even realize there was a Facebook Portal Mini. Yes, they have the Facebook Portal, Portal TV, Portal Mini, and Portal Plus. That's right. Uh-oh. Ah, uh -oh. Oh, jeez. Look what you did now. You made an extra Bruce. Oops. <sighs> My bad. Unbelievable. What? How do I know which one to listen to? Yeah, who do I listen to? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Now there are two lilies, too? There's no room in our room for an extra lily. I totally agree. Not to mention how much extra chicks and sticks we'll need. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Now we have two Bruces, two lilies, and two Addies? This is gonna be a real chicks and sticks nightmare. Uh, I mean, this, this is going to be a problem, okay? How are we going to solve this? You know, as much as it pains me to say this, Keith, I think you know the answer. You're going to have to send him back to the portal. What exactly does he mean? Um, I think you're going to find out. Oh, this is going to be good. Finally, I could just sit back and watch the fireworks. Yeah, so do you think I have to say it? I don't like the sound of this. I don't blame you. So, you know, I, I think you're going to have to say it with some emotion. Yeah, you know, like, like you really mean it. Yeah, okay, I, I think you're right. Don't worry, this isn't going to hurt a bit. What isn't going to hurt a bit? Clones, I'm sending you back. Wait, careful how you say that. To the portal! Great Scott, I've made the clones disappear. That's heavy. I'm gonna miss her. We won't have to share our tricks and sticks now. Good point, I'm over it. Wow, you know, I think these guys are gonna be really angry <laughs> whenever it is that they get back. But uh, in the meantime, maybe we should jump ahead and get into the review. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, 
Girls, I, I think I was actually talking to your dad, but nevertheless, I think you really can help us out uh, with one of the newer features that these newer devices have that set it apart from the portal TVs. Exactly. That's why I had the girls joining us in the first place. And we could have had the other guys help us as well, but since they're gone now, we'll have to illustrate that feature without them. Um, Dad? Uncle Keith? You gonna tell us and the viewers what that is, or are you gonna leave us in the dark the whole episode? Yeah, throw us a bone, Uncle Keith. We need the info. Wrong movie, Addie. We're doing Back to the Future on this episode. We're not doing Austin Powers, baby. Well, regardless, point taken. One of the newer features of, of the uh, Facebook portal devices is that they now have the Zoom app available. So what that means is that with this hardware, not the Portal TV, but with this newer hardware, you can do Zoom meetings. Oh, well that could be a good thing, I suppose. I'm reserving judgment until I see it in action. Well, Lily, you've, you've actually already been using it this whole episode. You know, normally we use Facebook Messenger when we record these things, but your dad connected you via Zoom. So before we jump too far into the features, let me just interject a couple of things here. So first, if you're enjoying this episode, please do hit like. It's going to help us with the YouTube algorithm as we're trying to grow. As well, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so down below. Lastly, we have a quick unboxing for you. All right, everybody, let's get to unboxing the Facebook Portal Mini. So I've got a three camera set up here and here and here. This should be fun. So first off, looking at the packaging, I should mention right away that I actually bought this used to save a little bit of money. And I don't know if the focus will work here, but it, it says so on the SKU used like new open box. But having said that, this is probably more of a reflection of this particular seller on Facebook than, um, than from Facebook itself, but, uh, or the seller on Amazon, they did a pretty good job. This looks like uh, packaging that <clears throat> one might expect for a new. So I'll use my ballpoint pen to open this up. And let's see what we got. Also too, I might notice that um, I have the old Portal TV box for some reason, I didn't throw it away. But I am noticing, yeah, pretty consistent branding. I'm also noticing that they're bragging a lot about the, the Messenger and the WhatsApp in terms of app compatibility, which we already know there are more apps than just that, which is kind of a hint that they're adding these features probably using firmware updates and not all of those features that they add are making it to the branding on the box. Oh, this is nice. I like that. Feels very high quality. Oh, it's very high quality. This is a box that you might actually consider keeping and using for a, uh, I don't know, recycling it for Christmas gifts. Okay, front and center, right off the bat, what we do see is uh, the unit itself. Let's go ahead and get down to business. Hmm. Yeah, let's see, it's kind of a quadrant. Again, kind of impressed that this is packaged the way it is, considering it is a used open box item. Feels like a closed box situation. But uh, here we go. This is it. It's, um, I bought the white. I see the hardware shutter, which we talked about on the video. It has a slightly rubberized type of uh, finish to it, which is fine. And the top is all glass. And then on the back, we do see this kind of cloth-like texture to this domed you can see if I go edge on you can see there's a dome to it uh, almost like a blister interesting what's this hmm. I'll play with that later but that's just begging that's just begging to be played with all right set that aside what else do we have <clears throat> a very nicely packaged 
AC brick, AC to DC transformer. I'll go ahead and rip this open. Should I be nice or just Cookie Monster it? I'll just rip it open like Cookie Monster. This is that very interesting stand slash power tent. And I guess that's the only thing to it. Without having read anything, let's go ahead and try it. Notice that the prongs for this attachment are asymmetric. There's two longies and one shorty, which <coughs> kind of in, uh, makes it impossible to misinsert, I'm going to assume. And it's only going to go in one way. Oh yeah, works pretty, pretty easily. And then it becomes the stand. There we go. Let's get a better view of this from closer to ground level. Here we go. Very stable. I like it. And here we can get a view of that shutter from the top. Looks like a mechanical shutter. Ah, I love it. The shutter does two things. The first one closes the uh, camera lens and then go, uh, but you can still see it's still doing the microphone. Go one more and now it's not listening to you either. So this will be Alexa possibly. I'll activate it using Alexa commands. And this is, uh, just show me pretty pictures, but don't, don't be listening to me. So that's it, looks good. I think I'm very happy with the uh, choice of the white. And uh, yeah, portrait mode also looks pretty good. Excellent. So Keith, can you guess what I consider the most unusual design choice? Well, I'm gonna take a guess. I bet that it's that stand apparatus that's part of the power cable, isn't it? Nailed it, Keith. So we'll see how it actually does in the real world, but my first thoughts on it are it's a little different. We going to discuss how Zoom works on this and the other features that set it apart from the Facebook Portal TV device? I'm with Lily, so let's get this show on the road. Jeez, you'd think I'm keeping them from dessert or something. You are, so let's go already. Yeah, time is money and ice cream. Okay, so we've been using Zoom for recording this episode. We normally use Facebook Messenger. As well as Zoom, there's a host of new other applications. Keith, why don't you go ahead and walk us through that list of new apps and we can get this episode wrapped up so that we can get the girls going on their ice cream treat. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. So along with Zoom, all of these portal devices, we also have Blue Jeans, we have Workplace, we have GoTo, and we have WebEx Meetings. So they're all offered. And all portal devices, including the older Portal TV that we reviewed before, they all have Alexa built in. You know, I would really love to see them incorporate these new apps into the Portal TV as well. Currently, there's not any information about when they might or if they're going to do that for sure. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day, weren't we? There has to be something architectural about the Portal TV hardware that's somehow preventing it from being able to get those apps. Not sure about that. We'll keep our eye on it. If, uh, if it does get added in the future, maybe we'll do an update. So Keith, now that you've had a chance to use a device, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, you know, overall, I, I liked it. The build quality was pretty good, which, uh, which is important to me. The screen touch sensitivity wasn't that great, uh, but I don't know, I think I kind of don't care about that for as much as I'll use it. Um, the one thing that I was worried about going in was the privacy issues, right? There's a microphone and a camera on it. And with Amazon Alexa devices, I think I've decided that I don't like that, right? Especially for an always on device. I don't want the microphone on. I don't want the camera on. Uh, and I don't trust Amazon with it. I definitely don't trust Facebook with that type of um, capability either. But I must say, you can mute the microphone and the camera does have a mechanical you know, shutter that actually blocks the, the, the camera lens. So I appreciated that. I love having those features you know, when I'm actively using the device, obviously, uh, but I really appreciate being able to turn that off, uh, turn those features off. So that was my thoughts. Bruce, what are your thoughts and uh, what did you like and dislike? So I was actually kind of surprised that I really liked this device. The screen is fairly responsive, although not the best in the world. 
has decent resolution, and is fairly bright. As well, the speaker that's integrated in is surprisingly good. I really like that it really can act as an always-on clock and photo frame. One of the things I really didn't care for, probably the one that I feel strongest about, is how easily it fingerprints. Now, one thing I've noticed is as I'm using it and it's on, I don't necessarily notice it, but if you do turn the device off, you can see those fingerprints pretty easily. Lastly, I think one feature that would maybe enhance this just a little bit, is if it had a remote just like the Portal TV does. But I understand that at this price point, including a remote would add probably another $20 to the cost of the device. And you have to decide, is it worth it versus just having the touchscreen interface? Yeah, I think that's fair. You know, the guys, the clones, you know, they were asking me earlier if they could close out the episode. And now I'm, I'm kind of feeling guilty that I accidentally disappeared them into the, uh, into the portal device. I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Hey, they're back! Uh, seriously, you're gonna let the guys close out the episode? Do you even know what they're gonna say? Well, um, no. Actually, we didn't get that far, did we, guys? I actually have no idea what you're gonna say. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's enough, that's enough. We'll take it from here. Right, yeah, I, I, I got this. So folks, you've made it this far in the show, so obviously there's something about it that you like. It's probably the three of us we know. So why don't you just go ahead and give this episode a like, all right? See, <laughs> Keith, there you go. You're Jeez. welcome. I told you, you gotta take it easy on these two guys. <laughs> you know, but in reality, you actually are still watching, so you may as well subscribe. Right? Subscribe to this Dad's Talk Tech channel thing and, you know, let it be your guilty pleasure. Yeah. And hit that bell, right? That way you get notified when there's new, you know, content and stuff. And, you know, even though this chicks and sticks being the official snack, it really bothers me, you know, that word chicks. Sheesh. Well, anyway, hit the bells and, uh, you know, I guess you'll be seeing Bruce and Keith, at least, next time on Dad's Talk Tech.